All right, good afternoon or good morning this Saturday morning of uh, September the 10th, 2022. We're going to check out the, the, the Halloween festivities that are being prepared. Halloween, uh, I think Halloween starts, uh, or their Halloween fry fish starts in a couple of weeks. And uh, they're getting ready for that now. We're going to check out what they've got, the, what decorations they've got up, and what, what it's going to be looking like, and what kind of haunted houses we're going to be seeing. We're also going to be taking our uh, rides on Mr. Freeze, which is closing after this weekend, for some major overhaul or something. They're hinting and big, possibly big changes to be made to the ride. So we're going to wait and see what they're going to do there. Uh, we're going to be anticipating that. And in the meantime, we're going to grab our last ride of the season on Mr. Freeze. And I'm going to go join my friends Mike and Jeff. In the meantime, let me flip this around. And we're going to walk in and show you the festivities and the decor, or the decor mostly. We see the big skeleton here. That looks cool. And the hearse, which is a staple here at the Fried Fist of Six Legs over Texas. There's a big skeleton character right there. Okay, let's head on in and see what we got going on around here. Got to find my friends Mike and Jeff while I'm at it. And we see some scary stuff already. Let's have a look around and see what we can see with the scary stuff. And if I don't know the answer, I will find someone who does. Uh, like I said, Fright Fest September 24th. And if you are interested in auditioning, we will be holding auditions. Holding for auditions Fright for Fright Fest, Fest actors. actors yeah. Today. So come and join me. Come some pretty scary stuff right here. Already. That's uh, a collection of nice, ghoulish looking individuals nine, there. I can't hear you. Eight, Tombstones and Halloween six, decor. Six, now I gotta find my friends Mike and Jeff. Three, two, one. Security, drop that roll. Y'all, I don't see him yet. Six Flags Day. I hope to see y'all. We'll I'm gonna head back over to this end and see what's going on. I think I see Mike right there. Let's have a look. See if that's him. There they are. That's Mike and Jeff. And let's take a look at the ghoulish, the ghoulish decor they have over here. There it is. Cooler weather today. It's not going to be as hot as it has been in the past weeks. Uh, some ghoulish decor over here. I'm liking that. That's really nice seeming. Oops. And uh, my friends Mike and Jeff. Oh, there he is. Oh, hey. Mike and Jeff. Now, hey. we are we are going to be taking our final rides on Mr. Freeze for the year because apparently they're dropping some hints that some big changes can be made to that ride. It's Caddo Canoes. 1962 to 1983. That's one of the earliest rides. Oh, where did you get that at, brother? I got it at El Mercado. Oh, hold that, hold that up. Plaza. Hold that up. I'm going to get one before I leave here today. I love that shirt. I'm going to get one before I leave here today. Thirteen forty-nine. With, with discount? Yeah. Without it, it'd be more expensive, I think. Twenty-four. Oh, yeah. So we're going to... Which direction do y'all want to head in first? Well, I'm going to the bathroom to change the shirt. Uh, okay. He's... He's got to go. He's got to go. He's got to use. He's got to go use the potty. So there. No, I'm okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'll be back with you here in a minute. Alrighty, as you can see, me and Mike have identical shirts. Get over here close to where we can see your shirts, Mike. Oh, we got these fried fish shirts. We both got them. We are not. We're not twins. We're not even related, but we do like good fried fish shirts. Since we both got the same red shirt, when we saw this, we knew we had to have it. And yeah. it's park specific. And, what it, I like about and it. it's park specific. So this is this is the only park that had this shirt. Yeah, it's the Six Flags Over Texas. That's, well, that's good. So we're gonna we're gonna be walking around in these shirts today, and so stay tuned. All righty, there appears to be some water in the splash pool here. At uh, see if I can get a good shot of that there. Uh, of uh, Aquaman Powerway, you can see it right there. You know, water in the splash pool that may be just from the rain, but it's definitely in there. It's going to be full of water once they get this thing completed and get it running. It's going to be a pretty cool ride, I would say. So we're going to keep an eye on the. The progress on the Aquaman Power Wave. That's the splash guard they put up that a while back. They have them on both sides to keep the water from splashing out onto the, the uh, passersby, I guess, and onto the train over there. And so we're going to head towards uh, Mr. Freeze now, but we'll be back later to take another look at that. And we'll get on the train ride and try to get a better look at it for you. But there is water in the splash pool, probably from rain, though. All righty, be back with you. All righty, we're about to go through the flash pass entrance here at Mr. Freeze, which is going to close after this week, after this weekend, after tomorrow. It's going to be closed. They are making some adjustments to the ride. They're saying they may turn the cars around to face forward instead of backward the way they used to. Other than that, we don't know because they're dropping a lot of hints. I don't know if they're going to change the theming or, or what, but they are dropping some hints that some changes are coming to this ride, and it will be closing after this weekend, today and tomorrow. Today, well, tomorrow's the final day of it. And we're here on this final weekend to get our rides in because we certainly want to 
commemorate the closing of the old style Mr. Freeze here, or the, the reverse launch of Mr. Freeze anyway, depending on what they're going to do here. But we definitely want to get our last rides in before they do that. Just saying. Uh, yeah, just saying. We are going to take our final rides on Mr. Freeze for this season because they're closing it for refurb. Stay tuned. It's dark up here, so we're going to have to... There's, there's the Mr. Freeze. There's the Mr. Freeze animatronic. That looks good up there. Get some shots of that real quick. All righty. All righty. The uh, ride is about to launch, Mr. Freeze. A final weekend that is going to be in operation. And we're going to get on it. They may be turning it back around forward. They're going to make some adjustments to it. We don't know what they're doing. They're teasing a whole lot of stuff. But I'm guessing they're going to turn the train around forward and instead of backwards, which, which has been, it's been, uh, it's been backwards for 20, almost 20 years now, but they're going to turn it around forward again, I'm thinking. And there's the Mr. Freeze animatronic up there. There he is. Yes, he is. All right, we'll be back with you when we get off the ride. Yeah. Here it goes. Reverse flash. Y'all be with I'll be with that. There they go. Alrighty. Alrighty, I've just come off my, my last ride on Mr. Freeze before they close it. Uh, before they close it for uh, seasonal operation. They're, see, they're gonna do some upgrades to it, maybe turn the trains around and make sure they're teasing a lot of they're teasing a lot of stuff that they're possibly going to do, so we're gonna wait and see, but they they uh, they've indicated that they may be doing some major rehab and some maybe some uh, Adjustments to the ride, who knows what they're going to do. Turn, uh, possibility of turning the trains back to face forward. Uh, who knows, maybe one facing forward, one facing, or one going forward, one going backward. Possible change to the theme, who knows what they're going to do. But we're eagerly anticipating that and waiting, and we're going to be right here to to, uh, to uh, bring you all the uh, updates as soon as they become available. And keep an eye on what they're doing to this ride, as well as the new Aquaman ride. So stay tuned, we're going to get on Batman now. All right, we're getting on Batman, and I already got mine reserved. Yeah, we're going to take a yeah. picture in front of Freeze. Oh, yeah, we're going to take a picture in front of Freeze and be back with you. Something the new, the new Flash Pass entrance. It used to be you had to go up there. Now you don't. Now you come through here, and I guess walk up those stairs right there. So we're going to show our Flash Passes and go up the, an easier, it's kind of an easier way to go, I would say. So we're going to be back with you. We're now making our way up the stairs to Batman the Ride, which we hadn't ridden in a while. We're going to ride it today, going into the fall here. Y'all want to get in the front? We're gonna try and get in the front. Hey, y'all, did y'all want to get? In the, hey, Mike, did y'all want to get in the front? Want to get in the front? Yeah, but yeah, but the front's better, better view. Here. So we're gonna get in the front. The front is the front is the best part. And we're gonna get in the front. I'll be, I'll be. Well, yeah, but the front they're not as good as the front. I don't know. If you don't have to, if you, if you got a chance to get right on the front line and wait, I would do it. Yeah. Good work. And the front is where we're going to ride today. And we're back with you in a minute. All righty, we're getting off Batman the Ride. There's a the Batmobile. And we're headed to get our food at Johnny Rockets. There's Mike and Jeff up ahead of me, and I'm going to run to catch up with them. Here we go. Right now, the uh, dining at the uh, the uh, food ordering app on the on the web, on the, uh, or sorry, the food ordering, food ordering uh, part of the uh, app is not working. You can't order your food online right now, so you have to go do it the old fashioned way. So we're gonna do it right now before it gets real crowded. But Diamond members do get, or, they or got mem their set up for yeah. the Fright Fest show over here at the state. Yeah, they got the setups for the Fright Fest show. Diamond members do get, do get a double burger without having to pay an extra fee. So that's good. They used to be you have to pay a dollar up charge or something to that effect. But now they got the, the they got the uh, stage set up. There goes Mr. There goes the Riddler, which is a good way to get stuff sick on your stomach. And we're heading in for Johnny Rockets. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'll be getting sick, getting sick in my stomach. Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's have a look at the menu here. Grab okay, grab us, grab the seat, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here's the rocket meals here. Let's have a look at those. 
And all of that is available, rocket double, rocket single, and chicken strips, four and three pieces are all available without an upcharge, that's good. Right there. Alrighty, I'll be back with you. I have to admit, that's not a bad portion of food there for, for the, di the dining pass. You get this for, for free on the dining pass. It's a rocket double. It's two meats, as you can see right there. When I get the onion rings and french fries, all that with it. it it's a, like I said, it's a lot of food for the dining pass, and you don't pay an upcharge on that. That's pretty good. Mike and Jeff are over there getting theirs. We'll be back with you in a minute. We're going to be dining at Johnny Rockets here at Six Flags Over Texas. Well, we're on the train ride right now. We're going to check out the Aquaman Power Wave as we go by. As we leave the Boomtown area of the park, you look up way high on your left, and you see the skyscraper. That attracts you to those of you downstairs. And up on your right, as you pass the crossing, the pandemonium. That's the little roller coaster that spins you round and round as you go through the course. I'm going to live there right by myself because I get dizzy. Oh, yeah. And we're passing through the construction area for the Aquaman Power Wing. Construction was shut down for more than this year. But they are working and they hope to have ready by this summer, but they didn't make it. There's only a few small details left. They're almost done, but it'll be spring before they have it open and running. They tell me if you like to get wet, this will be your favorite ride. Station, you're welcome to stay on board. 
for a trip back to Boone Town Depot, or you can exit here. Either way, please remain seated till we come to a complete stop. We'll get a short whistle from the engineer, means the brakes are set and it's safe to get up and get off. Everybody stay seated. Stay seated, wait for that one whistle, wait for it. Please stay seated, wait for the whistle. From down, that, down at that end, all the way through down here so yeah, looking at piggy's bloodshed what would normally be the exit but, but since they got that area fenced off we're still waiting to see how they're going to organize this haunted house uh piggy's bloodshed is normally in that building there which used to be a big arcade but now they use it for a haunted house and we're going to head down this direction now actually that's that would be actually that would be the exit for piggy's bloodshed there right there oh is it not the door? no no this these doors here are the exit for piggy's bloodshed okay and uh, yeah, we're gonna see how they're gonna organize their haunted houses this year. Yeah, Mike, Mike, Mike is pretty scary. Oh yeah, yeah, we're ready. We're ready. We're ready. And Mike, and Mike is scary too. Are awesome. Well, it is good to see you. And uh, make sure if you have any friends. Mm -hmm. We are looking for Fright Fest scare actors. We'll be here till six auditioning. All right. You know they say Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. I tend to disagree with that. Word. Oh, I disagree fully. Mm -hmm. Fright Fest all the way. Yes. One hundred percent yes. One hundred percent. And Mike, Mike is just scary the way he is. He doesn't even need a mask. Oh. Yeah. I, I am gonna. <laughs> oh. I mean, in my opinion, that's a compliment. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the highest form of compliment. Oh, definitely, definitely. Just saying. Well, then you're saying that you're, you're saying that I belong here, then, which is. I mean, do you want to belong here? We can get you I, on. Oh yeah, to belong I, here. I would love to, but unfortunately, <laughs> I have to work on some weekends. I know so. the feeling. It's okay. No worries. But this, I know. I used to work out here. All the time. Really? Yeah. What'd you do? Uh, booze, rides. You did all of it. Yeah. I love it. Well, I'm we gonna head inside real quick. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't go in there. Scare oh, actor auditioning. Oh, oh scare actor auditioning. All right, no yeah. problem. Yeah. But I will say, I'm sure y'all know this already. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna quiz y'all a little bit. When yep. does when does Fright Fest start? September 24th. Aha! You were paying attention to my cousin this morning. Yeah, most um, definitely. Yeah. Yes, we do. And guess what? Yours truly will be there. Awesome. So make sure you come and see me, okay? I will come and see you. Yes, yeah. please. And make well, sure it'll it'll be a week after because we're actually going to San Antonio the oh, first weekend. You're going to see more of my Fiesta, friends. Fiesta, yes. Texas, yeah. Fiesta, Texas. Oh, my goodness. I'm excited. It. I love Fiesta. Yeah, it's they a are, wonderful, it's it's a wonderful just, park. It's yeah. a great park. Yes, great park. it's a great park. We yeah. adore them here. Um, we do. Do make sure you come and say hi if you see me. If not, that's okay. We I don't will really definitely. Too much. Yeah, right. too much. But y'all have fun today, okay? We will. We are Absolutely. gonna have a great time. Bye, friends. All righty. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, off to the right there is Runaway Mountain, which they always uh, they always do up uh, theming for Halloween, and they're probably gonna have the Yeti back with some other nice surprises in there. And we're gonna come back for Halloween when they open that up for the Halloween Fright Fest and give give that a ride and and give it a review to see what they've done to it. Now over here is a, an attraction, Speedluckers uh, Cave. It won't be open during Fright Fest. But apparently it's not going to be open during, well, we don't know yet. We, no, no, it's been said that it's not going to open on, during Fright Fest. Which is interesting. They did they did have a flood out here a couple of weeks back when they had that bad rainstorm. I hope no damage was done to this ride, but it's possible. Yeah. There's some, so some the sort of damage. Shop yeah, the, the souvenir shop over there looks closed too, and they, that might be due to the flood issue they had out here a few weeks back when they had that bad rainstorm. Or a couple of weeks back. Uh, let's see what it says on this sign here. This attraction will not open Yeah, this this attraction will not open today as technical adjustments are made. Well, we don't know if they, they, some people are saying they may not open it for Fright Fest, but we don't have to wait and see. It would be a, it would be a great attraction to have for Fright Fest if they could open it because it's a good it's a good indoor uh, themed attraction. Yeah. They do have spider webbing over here. <laughs> yeah, they have the spider webbing. And. Uh, I would assume they're going to have some sort of a haunted attraction in this this area up here, right? Uh, not until you get over the top. Well, what about what about this area here? They're they, not going to have. They may have some scare actors out here. But yeah, I'm thinking they might have uh, something out here because it's a big open area. They could have a show or scare actors or something out there. So yeah. Oh, did they get the? Did they bring the water? Yeah. The water has been. They get the water. If you look drained. carefully, you can see that the water has been drained. Let me get over here. 
you look carefully, you can see that the water has been drained there. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, the water has been drained. Let's take a shot of that if we can here. Yeah, the water, the water has been drained out of the uh, Pirates of Spelunkers, which means they are making technical adjustments. Hopefully there wasn't too much damage during that flood. But that's the thing that scares us because it was just the, uh, the uh, Gold, River, Gold River Adventure ride, which predated, uh, which was here before they put in Pirates of Spelunkers, uh, got destroyed in a flood. And we hope that doesn't happen to this ride. They just now put it in. It's brand new. And, it, and it's yeah. way better than Gold River. It's way better than Gold River, but we hope that the, you know, the, you know, the first time they have a bad flood out here, it's going to cause more damage. That's the problem with that. We hope that didn't happen this time, for sure. It's only been open for a little while now. And we're going to head on around here. And just for you people that are wondering, yeah. Six Flags is showing in for Holiday in the Park, so we will get Holiday in the Park back this year. Well, we are getting holiday. We didn't have it last year, did we? Yeah, we did. We did? Yeah. Some yep. people didn't know if it was going to come back to this park or not. Well, we are getting it back, and that's the good news. We're going to head on down the road here. Uh, during the flood, this shop also got hit, too. This Texas gift. Yeah, that shop got hit during the flood, too, and it's probably got a sign. Let's see what the sign says. Sorry for the inconvenience. This location yes. closed. Please visit our other location. Yeah, it's, new. It's, it's probably because of the flood. So anytime there's flood waters, it, get, it damages these buildings. Probably, yeah. Okay, here we go. We're going to make our way to the... And this uh, this is not open. This is Chop 6. It is not open. I wonder if there's been any damage from the flood from this building here or to this building. Yeah. And we're going to head over here to where we have the outside facades of, uh, Facade. cur or facades of Curse of Ra. The original Pineapple Man coming soon. I wonder what that's going to be about. The original Pineapple Man coming soon. Well, the pineapple man? I think it's a food item in it. Look, even the restroom <laughs> has a webbing on it. Well, you, know, you got to have some theming, you know. Somebody could be doing that at home. And not <laughs> that is very true. Yeah. That was a joke. Even this has webbing on it. And we do see this uh, facade for Curse of Raw. Right? Yeah, the Curse of Raw facade is out over here. Let's take a look at that. That's a fun, uh, fun haunted attraction. Yeah, I like that one. It's kind of like Raiders of the Lost Ark in the movie. Yeah, a little bit Raiders of the Lost Ark kind of a thing. Yeah. Let's have a look. Well, they haven't got it completely set up yet, but they're getting there. Yeah. We got the cool statues. Yeah, they got those cool statues out there, the Egyptian theming. Well, that that, uh, that pharaoh looks pretty mas nasty up there. He's not too happy. Yeah, he looks ticked off. Yeah, he does. Real uh, unhappy Egyptian pharaoh right there, I would say. First of all. <laughs> Danger zone, do not enter. Authorized person only. Well, I guess so. We're not... I wouldn't want to meet this guy in the dark alley. No, he wouldn't want to meet you either, Mike. He's bigger than you too. Yeah. Let's go see. And we got the we already got the holiday in the park signs up right there. Yeah. That's cool. So we know for sure that's coming back. No, for sure Even that's coming back. Got on it. Yeah, it's got webbing on it right there. That building. Even this little game booth has some webbing on it. Even the tree. Game booth with webbing. Well, here's the. Uh, Terrifying Right. And as Dr. Flood says, remember my friend, it is all this. Okay, there's no facade over here, no facade. There's no there's no facade there's over here. No facade over here. We hear there is gonna be a haunted house in this section, but we uh, we don't see the facade yet, so that's still to come. And that, that, this area over here, the swamp, the voodoo swamp will likely be returned as a scare zone. So that's going to be fun too. That's really cool. The ice house, not open today. All righty, we'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, in case anyone's wondering, Roaring Rapids is open today. And the waterfalls are working out here in front of the uh, Roaring Rapids. You see the waterfalls going there. And uh, yeah, it is open today. 
So in case you're uh, coming out today or tomorrow, you will be able to ride Roaring Rapids. Also, Flume 1 appeared to be operational when we went by it a while ago. So if you get a chance to ride Flume 1, go ahead and do it. It's the original log flume ride, El Lacero Dero, the sawmill. We're going to head and get our food, yeah, or get our... Uh, get too wet on this, I wouldn't mind riding it today, but it's not... Yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get that wet today, no. Not with my new shirt. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, and we're now on our way to get our snack, which we are getting ice cream, and uh, yeah, we're just hanging out here and seeing what they're doing for Fright Fest. And, we're all, and uh, don't forget, in two weeks, we will be at Fiesta, Texas. Me and Mike will. And we are going to check out all the Fright Fest festivities out there and ride ride the new Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger. That's going to be fun. But I'll be back with you. All right, that's going to be it for our update today. Uh, in two weeks, we will be at Fiesta, Texas. We're going to be there all day and all night enjoying the Halloween festivities as well as taking a ride on Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger and the new Poster Guys ride. Uh, checking out all the haunted houses and all the shows. Uh, and uh, so yeah, that'll be a, well, we need be a three, long uh, We need long. three seats. Well, pull, pull one over here. Pull a chair over here. Yep. Well, sir. Yep. Is somebody sitting? And then, the, yeah, we're going to be there um, all day on that Saturday, Saturday the 23rd. Uh, we will be, like I said, we'll be enjoying the park for the whole day and the whole evening until they close. We'll be catching uh, all the shows, uh, checking out all the haunted houses, uh, riding Dr. Diabolical. Uh, it's cliffhanger. Uh, the poster they just opened up. We're also going to be looking for our souvenir bricks that we bought and paid for. They're going to be in the ground out there somewhere near the entrance of Dr. or near the uh, entrance or exit of Dr. Diabolical. We can't wait to check those out. Those are going to be fun. So uh, I'm going to end this vlog right now and uh, hope you enjoyed the update. This is uh, signing off from Six Flags Over Texas. Look for our, my vlog in two weeks from Fiesta, Texas. Say, have a good one. Until then, have a good one.